हेलो बाॉबी जादव मी लोकड़ वेलकम टू ऐरा मीडिया मैं उन्ना स्कूबी डू बी डूलो इधक पेट हाउस लोकेटेड इन कोापूर् सो वीलुस्तार पेट के विधा इतार पेट पेरेंट्स की वीलुचे हेल्पी अने मनोसारेकंद मन तो इकड़ उ प्रिया हाई प्रिया हव यू हेम गुड हव अब ग्रेट सो वाट आर् यू डूइंग हिय बीइंग पेट पेरेंट और पेट केर टेकर् into scooby doo bidu what scooby doo bidu actually doing okay so scooby doo bidu is a pet house where you know we board our dogs or pet parents we help them out in boarding their dogs whenever they feel like you know they are traveling or they have some emergencies then who is going to take care of them so we are there to help them out in their situations so we board their dogs for the requirements as per their requirements of the days and we take care of them okay at our pet house who is he he or she she uh, she is emma okay. emma is one year old sidzu okay. and she is friendly but a bit tough you know with stranger she is not so comfortable okay. she need more pamperedness mm-hmm. and she is with us for for a week almost and she is going to stay for two more days with us okay yeah uh, about their parents uh, about parents. about their parents they are traveling to goa and uh, they'll be back in a week or so so they have boarded with us for last one year and they liked our services that is why they want to board emma always with us so they just gives us a heads up and we on board emma whenever they feel like boarding with us that's great so uh, while uh, they leave emma with you uh, will they inform you how to take care of emma or uh, will you inform them these are the things we can do like that so basically we ask some uh, uh, things which we want to know about the pet also about the, their likings so we have a google form where we ask all the details about the pet so it includes how their behavior is what they like what they eat what are their you know eating sh- schedules all those things and then according to that we also talk to pet parents about each and every detail of them and then we go ahead and explain them how we are going to take care of them so this is how we explain all, all the onboarding process and we proceed with that that's great how about this guy <laughs> this is chodu he Chodo. he he is a male sidzu okay. and he just come uh, he just came yesterday he'll be here for two months because his parents are traveling to uk okay so about uh, what what it eats and uh, what a kind of services you give to this guy uh chintu something like that uh, chotu. chotu sorry <laughs> no problem so chotu is mainly into pet food and mix of home cooked food so he loves eating chicken though but at times pedigree he'll do tantrums so everything is fine with chotu it just chicken is what he loves more okay and he have a habit of humping so this is what his nature is okay. <laughs> when he gets comfortable he'll start doing this okay uh what kind of uh, breeds uh, you take care of we take care of every breed and um, starting from uh, shih tzu poodle lhasa so uh, labs retrievers german shepherd we on board every breed every breed of dog also we on board indies dog rescue dogs or you know the dog who needs special care or attention the elder dogs too who needs their medication on time who needs some physical help or more attention so we on board all of them so uh, the age is uh, actually different ages they need different things right so how you do how you plan them we plan according to how uh, our facility you know the temperaments type of so the uh, active dogs the small breeds the female dogs the male dogs and also the elder dogs so we separate them we keep small breeds in a place we keep big breeds in a different place we don't mix females and male dog we keep them separated okay so vaccination or uh, medical attention do you have any association with vets yeah we have association with two three of our vets and uh, before onboarding what we uh, look for is you know the proper vaccination the updated record of them and also the precaution for ticks and fleas before onboarding there are also uh, major steps like you know their nail should be trimmed if there is any allergies or any infection uh, the pet parents would have to tell us what is it about 
so um, our own boarding process includes all those things which needs to be done before onboarding the filling of the google form with all the details of your pet how many meals what he eats what he doesn't eat how is the behavior how is with the other dogs and then what are the vaccination is the deworming has been done and is he having any bitten history or anything like that so all the histories we take in consideration for you know going ahead and taking the onboarding of them i have also seen a golden retriever with you yes. can we introduce them to our audience she is snoogi she is female golden retriever she is just 4 months old and running and she is very nice dog she is trained also and she is very naughty i'll just introduce you to and one more thing yeah. see yes. it is very tough for uh, tough to handle one pet you have like four pets here and uh, you also said uh, you have uh, more pets in another place another location and you are going to take another location too because you're going to expand uh, this thing yeah. your care towards pets right so let us uh, talk about snoogi come on snoogi 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 <laughs> snoogi come come snoogi come say hi <laughs> Di- not directly come here you have hi. like she is very naughty mm-hmm. snoogi come here So our parents went for a trip, mm-hmm. and they wanted us to take care of this Snoogi. They were very, they were very uh, skeptical about Snoogi because Snoogi needs a more of attention. Okay. She is not pee poo trained. She is pee pad trained, so she stays at home. And also, she was not friendly with other dogs. So it was her first time. Uh, so there might be chances of separation anxiety and all those things. so uh, what we try to do is we try to you know make them socialize with other dogs they we try to gel them up with other uh-huh. dogs so that they can play they can spend their time peacefully and happily here uh, what kind of basic trainings you provide you provide or you have uh, association associated with some other trainers we have a associated trainer uh-huh. and basic training is provided by us but the main training which is for obedience or aggressive breeds or behavioral those are uh, provided by our trainer which has associated with us great then uh, you have uh, three shijus and one golden retriever here right yes so uh, we also want to introduce arno yes. will you please yes. so here we have arno here arno is the pet parent pet guardian whatever we say so arno please let us know um, what is the uh, business uh, expansion you are going to have and uh, what kind of uh, extra luxury that these guys going to have right so uh, we are expanding to and uh, we are planning to do a, a dog hotel kind of for place uh, which is where we can provide more services like more space for them uh, more rooms more uh, play play area for them and uh, uh, so that they can uh, have a great time during their stay and they don't miss uh, uh like their parents while while they are away and they feel like home so that that's that's uh, uh like what we are working out on uh, because at homes there are some limitations that we can push up to for pets and when keeping two three pets at a place so it becomes a constraint so uh, we are pushing hard so that we can make it more friendly for them and they get a better environment to stay in the long run and uh, services we are providing like as we provide boarding service we provide day care service as well like people who are going to travel for a few days like not for a few days we go ahead with boardings uh, like even we provide day care for few hours uh, people who are coming back and taking their pets on the same day uh, for hourly basis uh, we do that uh, we do trainings we do dog pet walkings as well uh like people who are busy and uh, they cannot schedule walks for their pets but there are some durations and times which uh during when we have to take them out for their uh, potty and pee breaks so uh, we help uh, our clients with that as well so this are the services which we are providing right now and we are trying to enhance uh the uh, quality of service which we are providing so that's yeah that's the pretty much plan which we are working on so actually these days uh, middle class people also taking the pets they are also becoming pet parents 
because uh, shijus and golden retrievers are the most of the domestic uh, pets these days so how about uh, the prices what could they expect about these uh, pet care what are all the services you are providing uh, how much is the budget they can expect a uh, per day or uh, per week uh, right so uh, how we go ahead and do it is uh, there are two variations how we look at it because uh, like if the pet is if the pet is friendly uh, then we can because it's a cageless service what we provide we do not cage or tie pets here so uh, the only concern is that the dog should be socialized with other pets that he is not jumping or humping or uh, getting aggressive majorly with other pets because uh, we are wholly and solely responsible for them right so we don't want any uh, any accidents or anything happening during their stay so uh, if the dogs are socialized then the charges which we provide is 750 uh, is a 24 hours boarding service like if you're dropping in the morning around 11 then until next day 11 it's a 24 hours count and uh, that's that's a one day boarding 24 hours boarding and that will cost you 750 and if we have to if your dog is not socialized uh, which we go ahead and offer uh, it depends on the dog's behavior what kind of training because every dog doesn't have the similar kind of issues uh, some wants uh, some are very super active uh, they pull their owners while they are go, uh, going out for uh, walks and all that becomes very difficult for the owners to uh, handle and tackle them so that's 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 one kind of training goes for that and uh, if there are behavioral trainings uh, there are command ta trainings which goes on and definitely if the dog is aggressive we provide training to that as well so th these are the services and the, the package depends the price depends on the packages how how long it will take that's 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 pretty much so about uh, medical care and uh, training the basic training potty training or uh, commands uh, like reciprocating understanding and reciprocating the commands for these things do you uh, include the same package like seven, in 750 in one day will they will that will these services be included or uh, separately charged or as you have association with vets and also trainers will uh, will you get the charges down for the uh, these parents like pet parents right uh, so uh like for potty trainings and pee trainings, uh, well, how we go ahead and do it is uh, we give like we give trainings, general trainings during their stay. Uh, we train them uh, to majorly like pets who goes out for walks. Uh, we, we take them out for walks and make sure that they are following their routines and doing it outside only. Pets who are not yet trained, we try to give them general training during the stay. But the training part, how it works is, it's just not on one, two days or five days. It has to be consistently done and practiced by the pet owners. That's how the consistency comes. So, uh, yeah, for boardings, uh, during the uh, trainings, uh, definitely we, we do negotiate on the price. Uh, because uh, it's, it's uh, training cost a different price and uh, during we cannot we don't charge like the same quote which is 750 as I mentioned or thousand rupees uh, for separate accommodations we do not charge the same quote definitely we revise the quotes and, uh, and make a good deal for the clients which is uh, pocket friendly for the clients as well and um, about uh, vets part so as you have associated with vets uh, medical thing uh, normally the charges are very high for uh, this uh, dogs uh, vets will you get those charges also down for uh, the people who, like customers for you whosoever is cu your customer will they get less price for vets right so uh, we are associated with couple of uh, vet uh, centers uh, hospitals pet cares uh, so uh, yeah like how it works because we do not own it personally so we do not have the authority to make the amendments on the charges but yeah definitely because on good terms uh, if people do take our names uh, because we yeah regularly if we are a regular visit client we do offer them this that they can take our name and they get a certain amount of discounts or coupons uh, which can work and this similarly works for the uh, for grooming as well uh, because we are directly not into grooming, uh, we outsource that. Uh, we have on-call uh, people who comes over. So yeah, yeah. So that's that's how the business goes on. So can I understand this way? Because if uh, once the pet is introduced to one vet, he'll be getting a good idea about that pet, right? So uh, the parents will be uh, uh, like taking the pet to the same vet again and again, right? So, will that help getting the prices down because um, recently I come across one thing, uh, some leg injury has happened with uh, Minpin, one of my uh, pet parent has. 
it was charged approximately 2000 to 20000 between that something so it is of course it is huge so regularly we can expect that right because it is a regular uh, checkup and regular things so how it works is pet centers pet hospitals the medications for pets the, it has a separate charges i'm not sure how much yeah i do agree that it's it is uh, pet pet cares are expensive and that's that's pretty much uh, like i'm not sure like how much on the charges it goes around uh, because uh, uh, we do visit uh, pet cares and uh, we see the charges yeah it's it's high but uh, regular visitation that's 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 actually completely depends on the center how they are going but what we can offer from our end is that if we have a regular client coming in uh, with us uh, we can we can share like the uh, places where we are tied up with uh, if they go ahead and use our promo code and the coupons which we are giving and providing them they get a certain amount of discounts definitely uh, but yeah definitely did they make a repo when they are going regularly to the vet then they can directly uh, we we do not we don't play any part there because it's directly connected to the client and they, that's how they go ahead and take care of it uh, how how long has it been uh, the business has already been started and uh, how many pets so far you have handled and how is with the hyderabad because i heard you are from west bengal yes. how is uh, hyderabad for you uh, Hyderabad is good uh, and it's been uh, over two years now we are into this and uh, I can like I'm not sure how many pets we have uh, boarded so far close to more, more than thousand pets we have boarded uh, in and out uh, roughly and uh, Hyderabad is a good place for pets because uh, we, we do see there is a, a immense increase of uh, pet lovers nowadays and uh, the population of pets are increasing and because it was a work from home situation uh, uh, the okay. scarcity was not that much required that time but post lockdown people have started working from home uh, working from office uh, and and the demand is getting high on that because uh, people are moving back to uh, the to their normal life space like they're traveling they are going to uh, vacations uh, so yes there, there is a good hype in hyderabad and it's, it's it looks good it's good it's exciting so about pets what is the uh, ma uh, major uh, differences that pet could feel from their parents and here so uh, <laughs> that's 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 uh, uh, it, it's it's a feeling like uh, like when you be at home and when you go to your grandmom's place right so that's that's the internal happiness uh, which uh, which comes when pets visits here uh, because it's it's more or less like a, a, a holiday destination for them uh, because at home they're alone they're lonely uh, here they get uh, friends get to mingle with a lot of friends and uh, and they have a great time because they don't have any timings of uh, playing or stopping or anybody to stop or control them we definitely look after them uh, no none of the pets are left alone ever we always are people are always me her or our caretakers are always around looking after them taking care of them so yeah they have a great time so they they, they once they go back when when they come back in so it's a, it, that's the expression you should you, you must see because that's that's immense they they come with so much joy the next time when they visit so so that shows that how much they love the place i feel like uh, these guys got green uh, green card i feel like that <laughs> they are feeling like that they are they are on free land yeah. free island it is their place so uh, you you were mentioning about a villa and uh, the villa has uh, the huge dogs grown up dogs can we also see them of course, of course. right 